Good morning and welcome back to Stardew Valley and of course Fuzzy Ferret Farm. Right, let's check on the television and see, ooh, we've got a new uh, episode of Living Off The Land. Welcome to Living Off The Land, we're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Ever had the urge to dig around in your neighbor's trash? Ugh. Hey, that's your thing, just don't do it when anyone's around. If they notice you, they'll be seriously grossed out and it'll harm your friendship. Well, unless they're into the same thing. I Linus, I guess. Uh, fortune teller? Welwick, what are... Oh, the spirits are somewhat annoyed. Welwick, I dislike your fortunes. I must be honest. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Well, that's the wonderful. Now then. It is, I believe, the Festival of the Winter Star. What are we going to make? Um, first yams. Can I make... I think it's Marnie. Farmer's lunch. Omelette. We require omelette. Omelette. Shall make Marnie a delicious farmer's lunch. Fairly certain that is Marnie's a favorite thing. Um, we'll grab all of our tools. Guess we'll take that out with us as well. Ah, oh, look at that. The, the world is clear. There's no snow in the air. It's wonderful, it's beautiful. I do kind of miss the snow though. I, I I mean I really like snow. What can I say? Alright, let's drop those off. Um I guess I'll put the seeds in the in the greenhouse. Uh let's just pop that down there. In fact, I've got so much just random stuff on my person. It is very silly. Uh I'll keep that over there. Uh, da, 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 there we go. Hello, Akasha. Oh, no worms. That's a little bit peculiar. Very well. Let's just top those up. And then go and see Leafin. Where are you, Leafin? Hello. Oh, that little, that little tail wag always makes me happy. Uh, I'm actually going to gobble down a pepper popper. So that I can move a little bit faster. Whee! Right, uh, we are going to want to get the recyclables over here. There we go. At some point, I really want to... I don't know. I like the farm. I really do. But it still feels a little bit too orderly, if that makes any sense. It feels like everything... It doesn't feel natural enough. I'm going to have to think about this. There's bound to be something I can do to improve. To improve the situation. I like these rocks over here, for example. I like all the trees over here, for example. Yeah, we're going to leave all of that. That area is lovely. Right. Down we go. Let's go check on the cows. Are you a baby? No, you are not all babies. Very well. I will be in here with the uh, milk pail in just a moment. Sorry, dandelion. There we go. I don't know why I'm apologizing. I'm assuming the dandelion likes getting pet. There we go. I mean, why else am I getting a little hard above your head every time I do it? That makes no sense if you don't like it. Mixed signals, dandelion. Right, let's grab this. Also, um, I should move these down there. Just out of the way so that I can fill my inventory up. Hello, 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 hello. I'll also go ahead and set this up for you. Right, now, time to milk. One, uh... Silver star. One small gold star. Feast of the winter star has started. One large gold star. And a second silver star. So it's all cheese today. There we go. I will be back in a bit, I guess. Uh, I really do need... Let me go and see if I've got enough wood. Do I have enough wood? I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, da, da, da. No, I really don't. That's frustrating. But okay, I should have. I should have uh, had a cash run me back down. That would silly of me. All right now, our secret guest, uh, our secret friend, secret guest, is Marnie. So the farmer's lunch is for her. I'm fairly certain she's quite keen on uh, farmer's lunches. So hopefully, that will be. A good gift for her. Ooh, that is definitely something in the water. I need to find out what it is, damn it. Alright, let's be on out. Is it around here? Because if it isn't, then I don't care. No, it's not. Right, I'll be right back. 
Let me go and drop off the cheeses and the milk. There we are. And we can be back out. We'll grab these. The gold star milk can go. Um, still him. You know what? Oh uh, well, I'm actually heading back by the um, area anyway. I guess I may as well. Uh, oh no, I sold the snow yam. Never mind. Right, Akasha. We kind of need to be moving quickly here because I don't want to accidentally miss the Feast of the Winter Star because I'm rushing around. There we go. Thank you very much, girls. Thank you very, very much indeed. There we are. One duck egg, one large white, one silver star, small brown, and one, I think it was a silver star, large white as well. You did very well today, girls. I'm very, very proud of you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, we are off. Uh, Akasha. Let's go check in on the bats. Hello. Nothing there. Well, fiddlesticks. Alright, what have we got over here then? Uh, we got some peppers. Glorious. And up here we have a single a strawberry. Uh, let's drop off the wild seeds. Is there anything I really want in here? Um, I would say not. I would say not. I'm going to carry those around because I can give them to people. Uh, I won't be able to give them to anyone at the moment. But I'm actually going to get rid of this strawberry plant. I don't need that strawberry plant there. What I will place instead is the sunflower. That way I can get some more for Haley. Right, off we go. Right, Akasha, I'm really sorry. I'm not sure what they have against horses, but they just don't allow horses in the festival areas. It makes me really sad because you're, you're expected to just wait just outside the whole time. I think that's just a, a very, very mean thing to do. Very mean indeed. Also, I need to just drop off uh, one or two more things. Drop this off in there. And this, the uh, peppers off in here. There we go. Oh, and the mail. There we go. Perfect. It is now time for us to leave. I'm sorry, Akasha. I would give you a gift, but uh, the game doesn't let me. This, this, this game just has something against the horse. Truly it does. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I always miss you, so I'm going to talk to you first this time. Oh, presents. Yeah, don't peek, though. Hello. Today is the time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Forget your worries for a day. Relax. I have no worries. Well, actually, I do. My chickens. I uh, know. No, 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 no. Not yet. I will give money her secret gift in a little. Hmm. So upset I didn't win the ice fishing competition. What a beautiful tree. It is quite beautiful, yes. Did you help decorate it? Do you want to hear the legend of the winter star? Sure. In the night sky of winter, there's a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old, people would come from far and wide to see it. They believed that anyone who laid eyes on the winter star would be blessed with good fortune. Some even claim that the mysterious fruit known as Star Drop is connected to the winter star in some way. That is quite a good story. Hey, good afternoon. Uh, thanks, Marlon, I guess. Oh, Linus, why are you standing all the way over here? I join in, but I don't think I'm welcome. Of course you are! You're projecting your fears. Everyone in town would welcome you. Well, they better if they know what's good for them. Uh, let's see. Checking out the, the periphery. Making sure I don't miss anyone. Any, any sneaks who've snucked off. They don't want to be in amongst the group. Uh, we don't want to leave. Anyone over here? No. Nope. Okay, it's time to uh, visit everyone at the tables. Hello, Elliot. Why, hello, Avak. It's chilly, isn't it? Um, actually, I'm feeling quite warm. Gus was just telling me about his artisan candy canes. <sighs> really? I think you had too much cinnamon nog. 
Okay. It's a fine art, making candy canes. You've really got to search far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. I usually use Fern Island ring fruit for my premier canes, you know. You can't beat that bright red colouring, and it's all natural. Oh, you want to know the secret to my deluxe double canes? Okay, but you've got to promise absolute secrecy. It's a drop of vanilla in the white candy to complement the cherry flavour. Of course, peppermint candy canes are the standard, and I always make a healthy batch of those as well. Hey, you look like you're falling asleep. Are you okay? I see what you mean. I was going to say that you were kind of being rude, but uh, hang in there. Take him one for the team. A feast for some stupid star. Humbug! Oh, George. Oh my, aren't you cold, dear? It's freezing. No, I, I'm, I'm fairly well. Oh, hello. Oh, I know why he looks a little bit down right now. It's not a good time of year for a diet. Well, no, I guess not. I'm thankful for my guitar and my skateboard. Oh, and my family, I can. Well, at least they were in there somewhere. Hi, Alec. Hi, Alec. You're welcome to join our family table if you need company. Oh, that's so sweet. That is so ridiculously sweet. There are not enough chairs, however. Spending time with the family is tiring sometimes. Well, you know, I, I, I appreciate that it can be. Especially extended family, but, you know. Gotta be thankful for it while you can. Can we open presents now? Uh, in a bit. I'll probably get another tool set this year. <sighs> Poor Demetrius. Uh, I'm thankful there were no medical emergencies this year. I'm, I mean, you're literally sitting on the table with Shane, really? I, I would have classed that as a medical emergency. I've met some people who believe in spirits and magic, but nee, I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained by science. Fair enough. <sighs> All these happy families, but for me, just another lonely year. Clint. Clint, you're doing this to yourself. Look, real talk, Clint. We can blame her on the booze. Or whatever else you want to say. But... Everyone knows what you feel, but the person that you feel it for. And that is entirely because you will not tell her. And if you don't, I mean, are you just waiting for someone else to tell her or for her to work it out? I mean, it's not like I don't understand, but she's not going to be single forever. Make a move now or lose the chance. Ooh, I've had too much nog. My sales figures have been phenomenal lately, thanks to the Feast of the Winter Star. Did you sell your wife too much nog? Boy, holidays are good for business. I wonder if I could invent some new ones. <sighs> hey, Abby. Nothing like a piping hot feast on a cold winter's day, huh? That is a good point. Like, how long will this food stay warm in this condition? Hello. I hope there's a new camera for me under the spirit tree. Alak, what are you hoping to find under the spirit tree? Hmm. Hmm. A jug of spiced mead. Ooh, that sounds nice. Make sure to give me a taste. Well, oh, sure. Seriously, Clint. This window of opportunity is rapidly closing. Consider this a friendly warning. Right, let's go and give Marnie her gift. Give Marnie her secret gift? Yes. Farmer's lunch. Oh, so it's you. Ah, farmer's lunch, thanks. You're welcome. Ooh, Maru is my, my secret friend. Hey, Avak. I'm your secret gift giver this year. Here, open it. Okay, what have I got? A hole! Oh no, a purple mushroom! You received a purple mushroom! 
it's not much, but I hope you like it. it actually, it is quite a, quite a lot. If you'd given this to me in season one, I would have been, oh, is this kind of okay? This is still kind of rare, but I will eventually get one no matter what, thanks to the, the Batcave. And I, I guess that's true in season two based on a season, but it's incredibly rare now. This is more rare to me than Iridium is going to be in a little while. So yes, this is quite possibly one of the most valuable things you could give me. Thank you so much. Right, well, I think I can now talk with Marnie since I've given her her gift. Previously I couldn't. No, I can't. Oh, that's a little bit of a shame. Ah... <sighs> I hope you got something really amazing in that box that you've been staring at this entire time, Jazz. I hope it is phenomenal. I will be having words with, with Shane and Marnie if it is not. Leave the Feast of the Winter Star. Once you do, the festival will end. My words will almost certainly, you know, be the sum of... Do you need a little bit of help with money? Because, you know, I noticed that Jazz wasn't super happy. And, uh, well, actually, no, that would be a horrible thing to say, thinking about it. Uh, even with good intentions, that would, that, there's no way that, that that would be good. Hmm. How would I be able to do that right? I don't think there is a way. I think that's just one of the cases you just kind of have to sit on the sidelines and just feel sad internally, but not show it. Uh, being an adult is hard sometimes. All right, let's go. Mm, yeah, it's 10.40 p.m. I think an early night is in order. We could do a little bit of work around the farm, but honestly, this is this is one of the the rare days where yeah, we may as well just go straight to bed. Um, purple mushroom, there we go. And let's take all the roots in with us. There we are. Perfect. Ooh, wow. Okay, we are actually going to make a little bit of money today. Fantastic. Let's drop off the roots. And um, I'm going to keep one of the wines, I think. One melon wine will be kept. Go and make grape jelly. There we are. But one of the wines will be kept because there's quite a few people for whom wine is one of their favorite gifts. So may as well keep hold of it for that. I'll pop that in there, along with the uh, strawberries. Well, actually, I've got ten silver star strawberries, so no, I'll I'll just sell this. There we go. Right, time for snoozings. No star leaf in. I'm glad he's not sleeping beside the fire. I was worried he'll singe his fur. Three thousand. That is not bad at all. That is actually quite good. I am very very impressed. Okay, well, that was an absolutely lovely day. Uh, right, let's see what's on the television. How is today going to start out? Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Oh, that's lovely, because I think it's Clint's birthday. I will be honest, I was kind of expecting them to be mildly perturbed or something along those lines. Um... Your number one source of weather and weather and weather because we never do anything but weather. It's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Very well, very well, very well. Hmm. What have I cooked so far? I've cooked pizza. Okay. Um, I've not cooked bread. I'll grab one of those. I don't think I've done a cheese coli or one of these. What else haven't I cooked? Uh, let's see. I've not made omelets. Uh, sorry, pancakes, rather. I've not made spaghetti. Anything else that I haven't done? No. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do apologize. Bit of a frog in my throat there. Uh, tortilla. Uh, ooh. Survival burger we could make. Okay. And a pale broth. And a radish salad. And I think at that point... We've more or less cooked everything that I can cook currently. All right. Well, that was a good start to the day. I, I'm i not specifically aiming to do any... Uh, oh, a quest. Uh, could you catch one for me? Uh, what do you want? I want to make a fish stew, but I need an albacore. 
I know they're almost out of season. Sorry about the short notice. Could you catch one for me? Okay, I'll, I'll give it a try, but... But, <clears throat> in this uh, season, I really do want to try and get some of the of the achievements. Because I, I got none of them last time. I, I wasn't even trying last time. So, I really would quite like to uh, make a go of that one this time. Right, I want like to be carrying those around with me. Thank you. Sure, I'll also grab the pale ale. Um, hmm. No, I think we're good there. Right then, Akasha. Sorry, not Akasha. Agro. <laughs> I'm sorry, Agro. I'm such a derp. All right, there we go. Akasha, for those who are wondering, is the name of my horse in the first season. <laughs> I'm sorry, Agro. Um, there we go. But... I'm going to need you to help me get a lot of stuff done, and then we're going to need to go to Clint. Um, we've got a lot of... Ooh, we've also got a couple of those. We have got a, uh, a lot of gold bars, so that's what we're going to give him as his birthday present. He should enjoy that, I think. There we go. Pop that there, and we'll then move my gift down here. This isn't a gift. This is just a, a hanger-onger, because... I've, I've got much better food at this point, so I never go to eat that when I need to eat. So it's just sat there in my inventory, waiting for a, waiting for a moment to actually uh, perform its purpose, to validate its existence. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm giving, giving my food an existential crisis. Uh, there we go. Why have you not... Why? Ha hmm, there is a decided lack of eating going on. Oh, it's almost certainly to do with the um, with the festival. I see you over there. Thank you. I'll pop that one in there. Hey, Robin. Oh, Lisa. Two months. What did I did I talk with Robin? I have no idea what went on. Uh, I think I think I think I talked to Robin, but the game. The game has a hard time when you do anything with any kind of entity which is close to another entity. Because <laughs> it never kind of gives me the notification that I've picked up um, any hay from the feeding trough if there's a cow nearby. That's what I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess that. I guess that is the cause. All right, let me just quickly deal with all this. We're going to sell that straight away. All of that too. I'm super happy with the duck feather because that is going to make it much easier for me to get the um, the uh, community bundle, the, the bulletin board community bundle. Do we have wood? We do not. That saddens me. Okay, well, you know what? Actually, there's a few things I could do. There's a few things I could do right now. Uh, let's organize that. I am going to take these to Gunther, and when I do, I'm also going to take these to Marlon. Let's grab all of that. I don't need any of it. Uh, we'll leave our scythe in there because we don't need the scythe. Not until next season. And not until the end of next season. In fact, not until quite late in the year. There we go. Right. Agro, could you do me a favor and take me to the bus stop? And specifically to the minecart behind the bus stop. Thank you very much, Agro. Right. Let's go and have a look. Hello, Clint. Look. I know I said... I know I said things during the Feast of the Winter Star that you might not have wanted to hear, but I felt you needed to hear them. You were probably too drunk. Either drunk on loneliness or drunk on food. Because I don't think you were actually drunk drunk. I typically stay near my shop year-round. Yes. Depressing, huh? Oh, Clint. I really, I really wish there was something I could do. Here you go. You remembered my birthday! I'm impressed! Thank you! You're welcome. Uh, somehow I don't feel that, that is a particularly pleasing thing. 
Hey, friends of Linus. He lives up in the tent in the mountains. I would like to think that I'm a friend. I imagine when Clint says, you know, seems happy, that's just... He's not actively depressed at that moment. There's quite a few people I know who are in a similar boat to that, actually. Their idea of happiness is just not being sad. And <laughs> wow, that it hurts my soul. Just, it hurts to think of that. Let's pop these over there. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Now, I'd also like to donate... Oh, oh okay, maybe maybe I'm not going to put this over there. Um, no, I kind of like that one. Uh, I guess the dwarf stuff can go over there. There we go. Oh, nothing. Really? Oh, well. We started to organize this place a little bit better. And that's good. Fish stew. Gonna get, get some albacore. That shouldn't be too difficult, all things considered. Should not be too difficult. Alright, please take me to the mines. And the reason why I want to go to the mines is to go and deliver this to Marlon. What? Ow, oh, Pope. Ooh, actually, this is kind of fortuitous. I need about 50 wood. Because even once I move all the cows into their own little area, the area which I... Sorry, the uh, into their own barn. I'll probably have goats next. And goats also require... Oh, thank goodness there's some over here. Also require milking. So I'm going to need at least two places with a chest that has milk pails in it. There we go. That's good enough. Thank you. Another winter root. Make seeds. Thank you as well. I'm not going to not say thank you, even if I don't need it. There we are. Ah. Now, one thing I haven't shown in this se season that I've seen in the first one that makes the whole thing with Clint even worse is a letter he wrote. I just... Uh, my emotions confuse me with Clint because... It hurts to imagine the situation that he's in, but at the same time, it's difficult to see someone be their own enemy quite as much as Clint is his own enemy. It feels like it would be dishonest not to tell him how it is, but at the same time, it's like, oh, it's kind of like kicking a puppy, you know? It, some people are not in the, in the right sort of place emotionally to be able to hear the truth, even if maybe hearing it would help them improve the situation. It's a difficult thing. Um, it's something that uh, well, any anyone of my viewers who, who's a psychiatrist would be able to say. Sometimes people, although there are treatments for depression and, and, and various other things, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to say that Clint is depressed. Clint is very shy. He's quite, quite gloomy, but I wouldn't, wouldn't quite say he was depressed. But as an example, Depression can be so severe that the treatments, the patient is is not strong enough for the treatments yet. That you kind of need to build them up first before you can start trying to fix the problem because they just wouldn't be able to take it in until that time. Um, I, well, I've got enough wood. I don't need anything else. And... and it's a tricky situation. It's a horrible situation. There's no good answer. And and Clint just... I feel sad. I always feel sad. Uh, here we go. A pink cake for you, Linus. It's a great gift. Thank you. Please go to sleep during the winter. It makes it a bit lonely out here. Can you talk to the trees? I would actually not doubt it. Not even for a second. Right. I need... It is Friday. Oh, that is true. It is Friday. I should go to the merchant. Ah, I almost forgot. Almost forgot. Hey, Marlon. I need to sell not my obsidian blade. Almost did. Almost did. I wouldn't even be able to buy that back. You get. I am, I am a danger to myself. Right. Okay. Let us go back to the bus stop. Agro, we have much stuff to do. 
Okay. Um, first, and indeed foremost, I am going to drop off the various brick back that I'm currently carrying. Drop off two of those, because I know I'm not going to need them. Drop off all of those as well. There we go. Uh, we do not have enough to make a any iron right now. Ooh. Hello. Thank you. I will hold on to those for now. Uh, let's pop down here. Uh, uh, what? Uh, excuse me. Thank you. I really would like to get all the cows into one place, though. And the primary reason for that one... Oh, damn it, what did I do that for? Is that I would like to be able to have all of the cheese presses in one place. Well, that being said, I, I guess it's actually true uh, still that I would need two sets of them, ultimately, because the goats would need their own cheese presses as well. Hmm. I guess, I guess two of the barns are literally just going to be mirrors of each other then. Fair enough. Oop. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry, Flo. Oh... That's the first time so far that any of the cows have been dry. I think they're not happy as a result of that. Can't can't tell you for certain. It, it seemed to be the prevailing theory that uh, it's just that if you get a large milk or a large produce, the special produce from any of the animals, then the next day they may take two days to recover before they can produce again. But, from what I understand at this point, that is not actually true. And it has a lot more to do with their happiness than anything else. Right. Oop. Agro is glitching out there. I feel like I'm being very productive today. And I'm glad for this. Right, there we go. We'll leave this there. Guard that milk pail with your lives. Right, well, actually, no, don't. If, if someone comes in there threatening your lives... And it's clear that they just want the milk pail. Just let them have it. It's fine. I'll buy another one. Uh, right. Hello. Do you have anything ultra special? Uh, oil of garlic. I can make that myself. <laughs> 900 gold for bug meat. I'm always tempted to buy just how cheeky you are asking for that. Well played. Uh, is there a fishing spot down here? I'm fairly certain I heard one. It may be that there is... Um... A location where I can perhaps uh, pan, maybe? I'm certain I heard one. Oh, maybe I did not. Well, since we're down here anyway, hello, Hat Mouse. Have you got any more awesome hats? Mouse ears. Achievement best friends. <laughs> um, ooh, earmuffs. Achievement popular. Mm, you know what? Yeah, it is a bit chilly. Yeah, sure, I'm, I'm going to wear some earmuffs for now. Feast of the Winter Star has passed. I no longer need my my uh, Christmas ninja gear. It's fine. I will go with earmuffs. My ears are delicate. I need them, also. They are delicate and I need them. It's a bad combination. There we are. Okay, well... Um... Well, I'm going to be heading to town anyway, so sure. It's Friday. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Hello. I like living on the farm. My favourite is the fresh ice cream from our cow's milk. Uh, I don't have anything for you, sorry. Everyone ignores him, the poor guy. He's actually really nice, just a little odd. I don't even think he's that odd. Oh, uh, well... He kind of has the same thing going that Clint does, in that he has no confidence in himself. And But it's an odd sort of situation, because he can live on his own in a way that I doubt anyone else in the town could. So there's clearly a, a capability. There's got to be a confidence for that. But at the same time, he just naturally assumes that everyone is going to hate him all the time. I, I, I cannot... Cannot quite understand why. I do do not understand at all why he why he feels that way. It's very, very sad. There we go. Pop that in there. We are gonna need to drop off this cheese. Ooh, and the roots. 
We are going to go to the saloon if I have enough time once I'm done faffing around here. In fact, let me quickly eat another pepper popper. We're a little bit low on energy, so might as well. Plus, then I'll be able to move a little bit faster. Better chance of us actually getting to the saloon. There we go. And we're off. I wouldn't have felt right going to the saloon tonight if I knew that the cows hadn't been milked yet. I'm fairly certain it affects them if they don't get um, if they don't uh, get uh, any social uh, companionship or get milked before they go to bed. Pam. All right, Gus, give me another pint of your strongest. No, Gus, don't. I will give her a, a glass of a fairly weak alcohol. Hey, hey, now this is really something. Thanks a million, kid. You are welcome, madam. Uh, where are you? Uh, you're not actually that far away now. Not that far away at all. Ooh. Yeah, I'm sorry. Demetrius is busy dancing by himself because his wife is, is busy building an expansion to my chicken coop. You're giving this to me? This is amazing! I'm very glad you appreciate it. But you're still busy. Okay. Hey, you guys. I'm not very good. I know, I know. We've established this. No, you shouldn't let him win. Really, you should stop taunting him, frankly. It's gone to the point now that you're just you're just showing off. And that's it's not yeah. One thing I've learned living here, everyone says that you if you look different. I imagine, unfortunately, that Linus has also learned that lesson. Hey Shane. Oh, I should have brought an egg. I'll definitely be going to the saloon tonight. What else is there to do? I I hope you're drinking water. Hey Clint, can't talk to you. Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. Ooh, well, I don't actually have anything to give you. Sorry. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday. Uh, do you like this? Damn it! Why? Why is everyone... Blah. I guess, in a way, it makes sense because... By the end of the week, you've usually had a chance to give people gifts. Mari doesn't even seem to notice you're there. She only has eyes for Lewis. Good evening, Avak. I'm glad to see you relaxing at the saloon. It's good for you to take a break now and then. Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I'll have an extra beer in his honor because Lewis only has eyes for beer. This, this also makes me sad. Do you ever get cold in that farmhouse of yours? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Stop on my cabin if you want to huddle under one of my coats and drinks out of it. Yes, I will. One day, when I figure out how to do it. Um, uh, no, let's go Stardew Valley Overture. There we go. I actually really like this. This music makes me just, I don't know, just kind of puts a bit of a spring in my step, even though I'm not walking. I'm, I'm chair dancing, though, if that, if that counts. But this has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. I was busy. I'd help you dig around that cave by the lake. Thank you. This this music is just happy music. I defy anyone who says it isn't. It it really really is just happy music. Oh, Drat. Crobus, I'm so sorry. I'll I'll swing by tomorrow with something I think you'll like. But Friday's a special day for Crobus, as you can see. Iridium sprinklers. For the paltry sum of 10,000 gold, you can purchase an Iridium Sprinkler from Crobus every Friday. This is not a once-off thing, and it is every Friday that it occurs, regularly. In the first season, I got the vast majority of my Iridium Sprinklers by doing that. Every week, I'd pop by with 10,000 gold, buy a new Iridium Sprinkler, once I'd, uh, you know, I gained access to Crobus. It took a while to gain access, so by that point, I was just swimming in money like Scrooge McDuck. Only not, because money is hard and I would break. Much like Peter Griffin. There we go. Fantastic. And it is time, at long last, to give the Junimo their duck feather. I'm sorry I, I hung on to this, but I hope you can understand why. There we go. Now, the only thing we need for her bundle is something that we can't get until next year. Uh, we should be able to get apples. In fact, 
ultimately, the only thing that we will really be waiting on is a rabbit's foot. Ooh. Uh, I've already talked to you, actually. Never mind. Never mind. I got excited for the possibility to socialize, but then I forgot. I've already socialized. Ah, oh, well. Too much socializing, unfortunately. <sighs> you know, I cherish these 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 walks we have aggro. What I don't cherish is having to fight you. There we go. We actually got quite a lot from that though. Are you <sighs> You little sneaks? Bloody ninjas they are. Okay, well, that's about everything we need to do for tonight. So, let's go and drop off the last few things. There we go. Uh, I'll actually go and pop things into their correct chest as well. There you go. Mm. Well, no, no, I think we're good there. I think we are good there. Let's head on over. And pop a head in here. Drop off the seeds. We've got two of them, actually. There we go. Now, it would be nice to get the this the um, iridium sprinklers in here because they, they cover a very large area. So we'd be able to, to just re remove a couple of the wasted tiles in that room, basically. Now, I would actually like to... Where are you? Where's the... Is it over here? Yes, there we are. I would like to make another mayonnaise machine. So, 15 wood, 15 stone, and a copper bell. I should have that. No, I do not. <sighs> that makes me either sad. Oh, well. I may have to just pop by Robins at some point and just buy loads of wood. Uh, let me have a look at my... I've cooked uh, quite a lot of things here, but you know, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make all the roots platters that I can, and we're going to sell those just to get them out of there. Is there anything else I particularly need to do? I could sell a cave carrot. Do I have any? No, I probably just used up all the cave carrots, actually. Yeah. Well, that was a bit silly of me. Uh, coconut. No idea. Absolutely no idea what that's meant to be. Um. I've not sold any peppers directly. Okay, good, good, good. Nor have I sold any radishes. So I'll grab one pepper, one radish. Anything else I haven't sold? Yeah, quite a few things, actually. A great many few, a few things. A great many few things. Oh, God. It, it, it's like I actually don't know how to use words and... You you would not actually be wrong if you assumed that that was the case. Uh, well, I think I think I've sold one of everything in here, so that's fine. We'll just go and uh, sell these for now. Just get them out of the way. There you go. Bump, bump, bump. Perfect. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to sell it. It's 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 completely useless to me in there. I'm going to sell the, the fried egg as well. Now, before we go anywhere else, I heard you. Let's go and pan here. Three gold ore. Not bad. Not bad at all, because I believe that gives us enough. In fact, it does. To get a piece of gold. Awesome. Okay, well, it is 12.40. It is time for me to go to sleep. And Leafin has decided that the fire is way too hot. And he wants to sleep in the kitchen on the cold floor. Fair enough. Not going to say he can't. Quite a lot of money there. 6,550, which may be enough for me to upgrade one of the barns now. And purchase all of the uh, materials for said upgrade. But there we are. The 27th of winter. All that remains for us is two days. Two days and we're going to be in spring of year one. So the very next episode will be ending as we re-enter spring. And I'm going to have to redecorate the house. I'm going to have to take down the uh, the spirit tree. Ah, very well. But that is going to be it for this episode. I do hope that everyone has enjoyed and that you will all be joining me for the next episode. 
as ever. Remember to like if you like, sub if you haven't, but I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.